feel like it feels like Netflix is just taking over everything. Now, look, this is going to cost them. This is going to cost them a <laughs> shit ton of money because yeah. it's, uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's movies that have already been made that they're just kind of picking up. Mm-hmm. So they said to to increase the content to 80 movies, they plan on spending between seven, uh, increasing the spending to seven between seven and eight billion dollars. Mm. They spend six billion now. Wow. But that's, I mean, you think about the amount of content. They had, I think they have six movies and three, uh, I, I want to say six movies and three series mm-hmm. that come out just this month that I'm interested in watching. Mm. That's a lot of fucking content. There's an Italian, like, mobster show that apparently looks really good, uh, Sabura, um, which is all what in is Italian. It S- yeah, Sabura. Sabura? I, yeah. But it's, it's an all S-U-B-U. in Italian. S-U-B-U. R R A or something like yeah. that. Yeah, oh. but it, apparently, it, I don't like know what I watched it. About <laughs> it, they're I like mo- it. They're every time I turn it. Netflix on, that, that trailer pops up. But it's it's all in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope there's a, a dub because I don't feel like reading. Like I don't watch TV to read. <laughs> yeah, I watch TV so I don't have to. Black people don't read. Um, black people don't read. <laughs> you don't eat vegetables either. <laughs> black men don't cheat. Um, <laughs> these are all facts. <laughs> Um, but, but all of this, all of this is happening. I mean, they've got, Netflix has got that show, uh, that movie Bright coming out with Will Smith. I really want to see that. That's in December, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's not like they're just doing (laughs) shitty movies. Like, they're getting big budget actors. Joel Edgerton and Will Smith in the movie. And it's done by, um, uh, David Ayer. Like, yeah. I wonder how does this affect the movie industry? It's going to be interesting. Because I feel like the movies that Hollywood puts out, outside of like, of course, like the mainstream, like Marvel movies and things like that. I mean, you guys just saw Snowman, and no, I wanted to see that. No, no you, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. But you know, outside of the 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 comic that's not movie, even good for Netflix. I'd have been mad if I watched this. <laughs> right. I'd be like, yo, I could have watched Outlander for the forty seventh time. Oh yes, you could have. <laughs> I, I, I don't encourage that madness. <laughs> but but like. But the thing is, um, like, Snowman had a $35 million budget, right? Like, that's not that much money mm-hmm. for Netflix to spend to yeah, get that right. movie. And it's already done. And they don't have to distribute it. They just like, where's the CD? We'll put it in the computer. Load it up. Like, and I feel go. like Hollywood isn't putting out a lot of great movies. No, they're th- not. That outside of, you know, like, at the Marvel and whatever. But so it makes me wonder how they're going to react to... What? Right, and like they're not, they're not great yeah. movies. Yeah. They're just big. We just love budget. them because we're right. fucking nerds. Right, yeah, but and, and, and like mainstream people. Yeah, but like movies that I'm actually like interested in just watching and just sitting down. Like, like I, I would just, I don't feel like that. Home. Like when I want to go to the movies and spend maybe like sixteen bucks at the movie theater, I don't feel like doing that right now. Right, right. And, and also one of the other things that's happening that a lot of people aren't talking about is the. The time between movies being in theaters mm-hmm. to when they're available at home is shrinking. It's incredibly right, yeah. short. Like, yeah. my wife hadn't seen Wonder Woman, and we just watched it. It came out on, on demand in, like, what, a month or two after, m- later or something like that? It's probably a couple months, maybe, yeah. like, two months, but two or three months. But, like, at the same at the same time, like, we watched it, run it on Amazon, and it was, like, right. five bucks. <laughs> yeah. And that's for mm-hmm. HD, you know, like, an older movie, maybe you don't really need it in HD, like, who cares? Yeah. Um... Yeah, like I, I, mm-hmm. I saw a screener for this movie, Good Time, which is a is a indie movie. It's really really good, and my wife mm-hmm. didn't go to that screener with me, and, and I was mm-hmm. like, you got to see this movie. It's really good, and I was like, oh, let me see if it's on Amazon, and it's not on Amazon, but it's on Amazon in two weeks, and I just saw that. Like Damn. we just reviewed that. I just reviewed. Yeah, that it was movie like a like month ago. A month mm-hmm. ago. So like indie movies get there super fast. Yeah. Baby Driver is now available to rent already. Oh really? Yeah, I want to yeah. see that. Yeah. Okay. So I like see that, yeah. those kind of things are moving so fast. So like it's getting to a point where I'm actually starting to, outside of big like big spectacle films like yeah. Pacific Rim Uprising. Like you should see that in theaters if you right, want to see right. it. Right, like, like it's going to be loud and huge. Um, or the Marvel movies or DC movies stuff like that. It's getting to the point where those are the only movies I really want to pay to see in theaters. Mm-hmm. I will gladly pay to rent. Like I use Amazon. I I use Amazon to rent movies. All the time. Because mm-hmm. um, one, it's easy. You just like fucking put in the code on Roku, done. Yeah. Right? You watch it immediately. Um, but I'm getting to the point where I was just like, I'm not going to pay money right. like to go see The Snowman. Let's say it was good. I'm not going to pay the money to see yeah, it. Yeah, right. because it's not, it's not something you need to see on a big screen. Right. right. And like, it's going to be on streaming at some yeah. point anyway. And movie tickets are too expensive for that. Yeah. Nowadays anyway. I, I'm, I am actually very interested. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm very interested 
to see what happens to movie ticket prices. Mm-hmm. As how the fuck can they compete if Netflix is like, we got 80 movies, dog? Right. And, and not, 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 <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, well, I'll stay. And home. not just 80 movies, but like I said, 80 movies with possibly <clears throat> big hitters that you would go spend money to see. So, right. I mean, if you. Because Bright feels like a big. It, Bright right. absolutely feels like a movie that would So if you, if you, if you're a big Will Smith fan, I mean, what's. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith apologist. I mean, I mean, he's Black Tom Cruise. I like, mean, he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. They're like yeah. the same. Yeah. They're the same guy. Like, I mean, you're paying what uh-huh. nine, ten <laughs> bucks a month for Netflix, and here he is in your home and on a big budget film, and you don't have to spend like fifteen bucks to go see him at the big screen. And, and that house. fifteen bucks is not fifteen bucks, right? Right. You get popcorn, you get a drink. Not that's thirty. You, not if you get the better than you see. That's Free sixty, and then it's parking. Yeah, and you have to leave your house and spend gas. Who wants to do all that? I yeah, was, I'd then, rather and just stay look, home. And look, and then you get, like if you are a parent, you got to take your kids. Yeah, all that shit, yo, yo you, you, yo, you go to the movies with some fucking kids. I went, I took my cousins to see Superman, <laughs> The Man of Steel. Yo, that shit was like one hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the I fuck t- out of my I, face. I took my, I took my, my two nephews and niece to see <laughs> uh, Spider Man, and it with ticket prices. And concession, it was like eighty five bucks. I was like, we should have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I was mad at myself for not trying to like go to the dollar store ahead of time, and like I was trying to be like the cool uncle and shit. Yeah. Like, I got the real full price. Don't worry about it. And I was like, yo, what yeah. the fuck is this man? Real? You guys, are- I'm, I'm including like food and everything afterwards. Yeah, oh, that shit yeah, wasn't you- that shit wasn't cheap. Man. Right? Oh, like, yo, I could have. I took those little niggas to dinner. You crazy? Yeah, I don't like. Yo, kids. those M and M's in that Sprite were dinner. <laughs> Go home to your parents. Oh, you hopped up on sugar. Yeah. Bye. So I just got to get the kids at home. Yeah, uh, look, yeah. I ain't got no kids. Me neither. I might be around kids. My, look, when me and my wife go out and we go to the movies, we normally go, because my wife is big into like indie movies, so we normally go to like the indie theater. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. Mm-hmm. She's not normally like, let's go see Pacific Rim <laughs> Rising. Like, she's like, what the fuck is this and, robot and pay movie? For, and pay for those expensive recliner, better than you seats at Cinemark or whatever. Right. Exactly. But I, I do I do find it interesting. Your your point, I think, is is sound. That 80 movies in a year, that is going to do some damage to the yeah. movie industry. It is. Mm-hmm. Look, it's an industry that needs to get interrupted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people already think they're watching Netflix in the goddamn theater anyway. Yo. Yeah. Because they won't shut the fuck up. It makes oh, me insane. Oh, you know what? That is, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's another aspect about going to the movie theater. I'm increasingly starting to just hate. Like, people, people are the who, fucking worst. Who don't shut the fuck up during a movie. Because they think they're at home. Yes. yes. They, cause if you they wa- paid 18 bucks to see this movie and they I, feel like they can do whatever the fuck they want. I think we, we, when we went to And they see, just forget. I think they le- legitimately forget that they're not home. That's why people like pick up their phone and check. I'm like, you know you're not on a couch. Right? <laughs> I know it feels like, like I know it's nice. like It right. feels like it. But you're not on a couch. And that's a real problem.